grouping your students in MarkMate speeds up the marking process even more because instead of having to mark individual students you can actually mark groups of students and differentiate your marking as you're going. So to give you an example here I'm marking a piece of work, a newspaper article. I've set up this piece of work to have two different types of feedback headings, what went well and EBI. Now I could go into each student and give them individual comments but with our select tool in the top right of the screen I've got the ability to select multiple students at once. So for an example, during the lesson, maybe I've already assessed my students formatively as I'm walking around the room. I've already got an idea of which students have done well, which have struggled. And at the end of the lesson, I might ask them to leave their books in three separate piles, sort of higher ability, middle ability, lower ability. And at the end of the lesson, I've now got three separate piles. So what I can then do is pick up the first pile of books, let's say these are the ones that really struggled with what I was doing, use select multiple, and select all of the students that are in that pile. So I've got five books in this pile. Click mark, and then perhaps I could go into EBI and give them specific EBI, maybe a support task, maybe key vocabulary, or maybe something that is um, gonna be relevant to that group of students for the next lesson. I could then save that feedback, and now go back to my students, and now I'm gonna select another group of students. This is my second pile. So maybe I'll select these guys over here and mark those books, go into my EBI, and these are the ones that really did fantastically in today's lesson and need perhaps an extension task. So now I'll give an extension task to these students and save it, and then all of those students will receive that on their feedback label. Then I can pick up my middle pile and select them all off, give them the EBI as well. This way, I've marked all of my books and given differentiated feedback, but I've only actually had to say my feedback three times, differentiated for each level of learners. If you wanted to, you could do that for all sections of your feedback, or just for what went well, or just for EBI, and then mark each student individually for the other section. This is just one way that you can speed up your marking using MarkMate and using our select tools. If you've got any ideas of how teachers can benefit from MarkMate using it in different ways, don't forget to get in touch.